Erica lost her mind and activated the crane, hurling cargo at Dracula. But Dracula teleported away to watch dolphins play, while the unfortunate snot monster was flung into the sea. Erica's assassination attempts were repeatedly thwarted by the clueless snot monster, forcing her to wait for another chance. Soon, they arrived at an underwater volcano. Dracula's family went for a joyful dive, while Erica continued her assassination mission. Watching the happy family, Erica hesitated. She missed the best opportunity to act and was caught by Mavis while trying to flee in panic. Dracula finally managed to arrange a date with Erica. Erica intentionally added garlic oil to the food and desperately fed it to Dracula, not realizing garlic wouldn't kill vampires but would just make them gassy. During the date, Dracula confessed his nervousness and talked about his late wife. This honest conversation made Erica develop some feelings for Dracula. However, their date was interrupted by Mavis, who was unhappy to find her father dating instead of playing with his grandson. After the date, Erica was spotted by her great-grandfather Van Helsing, who still wanted to kill Dracula. Erica's growing feelings for Dracula clashed with her mission, leaving her conflicted. Amidst this turmoil, the cruise ship reached its destination, Atlantis. Erica sneakily went off to do something, and Dracula, curious, followed her to a strange place. Erica removed her clothes and dived into the water, with Dracula right behind her. Erica was there for a scroll. Just as she was about to grab it, she triggered a trap. Fortunately, Dracula appeared in time to save her. Erica told him that the object was a family heirloom that had accidentally fallen into the sea, and she was retrieving it. She asked Dracula to protect her, and he gladly agreed. Dracula successfully helped Erica obtain the legendary scroll. Suddenly, a ferocious sea monster emerged from the water, terrifying the creatures below. Dracula urged them to flee, but it was too late. The monster destroyed the entire bridge and continuously attacked, eventually capturing Dracula's granddaughter Winnie. Dracula rushed to save her but was also caught by the monster. No matter how hard he struggled, he couldn't escape. Just as the monster was about to kill Dracula, Erica couldn't hold back any longer. With the help of the big dog, she soared into the air and kicked the monster in the eye. If you want to see the next part, then please like and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you can get instant notification.